Good day and welcome to puzzle number 56. What number can be represented by the question mark? The numbers in the puzzle are as follows. In the first row, we have 4, 5 and 8. In the second row, we have 7, 9 and 11. And in the final row, we have 21, 36 and the question mark. As usual, we need to know what number can be represented by the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of puzzle number 56. What number can be represented by the question mark? The numbers in the puzzles are, in the first row, we have 4, 5, 8. Second row, 7, 9, 11. And in the final row, we have 21, 36 and the question mark. Can you solve this problem? Have you solved this puzzle? Yes, hopefully you have because this is quite a difficult puzzle because you can either work in terms of rows or column. Okay, and the answer is that this for the few time we are working on in terms of column. Okay, so we need to manipulate 4 and 7 to get 21, 5 and 9 to get 36 and 8 and 11 to get the question mark. To do that, what we're going to do, we are going to multiply 4 by 7. That will give us 28. And then we minus second number, which is 7. 28 minus 7, that is 21. Similarly, for the second column, 5 times 9 is going to be 45. And you minus 9, the second number, and the answer is going to be 36. So for our third column, 8, 11, and question one mark, we know how to do it now. 8 times 11 is going to be 88 and minus the middle number, the, the, the 11. So 88 minus 11, the answer for the question mark is going to be 77. I believe most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more puzzles. Cheers everyone and have a good day.